Place linear dimensions. MicroStation has many dimensioning tools. Additionally, a variety of dimension attributes define the appearance of dimensions. The easiest way to set these dimension attributes is by using predefined dimension styles. Dimension elements placed with a dimension style are automatically updated if the dimension style is changed. While you work through the lessons in this course, you will Place linear dimensions. Continue in the proposed site plan. Ensure that the text label PR is the active level. Make dimension linear the active tool. In the tool settings window, set the following options for the dimension style, civil site labels, the alignment set for view, linear size enabled, annotation scale enabled and association disabled. Now we'll begin by dimensioning a parking stall. Zoom in to the area to the left of the proposed building. Along the parking bay with 14 stalls, snap to the intersection of the seventh stall and the curbing. Issue a data point here to select the start of the dimension. Now Move the cursor to the right, snap to the end of the stall. Issue a data point to select the endpoint of the dimension. Bring the cursor slightly down and issue another data point to define the length of the extension lines. Hint, do not reset the tool. As you can see, the tool remains active, allowing you to string together additional dimensions, creating a dimension string. Continuing with the dimension linear tool, snap to the end of the parking stall along the parking bay that has eight stalls. Issue a data point. Next, snap to the opposite end point of the same stall where it intersects with the curbing at the building pad. Issue a data point. Continuing to the right, snap to the furthest building corner to the left and issue another data point. Snap to the far right side of the building and issue a data point here. Continue the string by placing points at the curb of the parking bay that has eight stalls. Across the bay to the curb by the landscaping. And then finally to the property line as shown. Reset to complete the dimension string. Place two additional linear dimensions in the parking bay with 18 parking stalls directly above the proposed building. One dimensioning the length of the stall and another dimensioning the width. In our next step, we'll be labeling the property line. You will use the dimension element tool to label a property line with its respective bearing and distance. Make the property line anno the active level. From the ribbon, select the dimension element tool. Coming into the tool settings window, set the following. The dimension style for this will be property lines. The mode will be label line, angle below as the label line, and association enabled. Identify the property line above the site on the left side with a data point. Issue a second data point to place the bearing. Next, in the tool settings window, change the label line option to length below. Identify the property line, this time on the right part and issue another data point to place the distance. Take note, with the dimension element tool, you do not have to snap to the endpoints of the line. You can just select it anywhere.
During this lesson, you learn to place linear dimensions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.